Hi guys, Retro Django here. Back with another short video. This time I have a little uh, spare time to repair some of my disk drives. And uh, I have found out that um, these old drives, they also need to be recapped. I mean, um, when you insert a disk here, just, just a fast simple one here, when we insert a disk, as you can see, the magnet here opens and this head comes in over and uh, reaches the disk. So the first thing that I always do is to, uh, to clean the head. As you can see here, the top side and the bottom side here has to be uh, all cleaned. If, um, if that doesn't help, then I actually always, they're all different, but um, most of the time this circuit board here has got few uh, three, two, three, four caps that you have to uh, replace. Uh, other than that, when these drives has been on storage for 20 years, this, um, I don't know, this drive does not turn on it, it gets stuck then I just reassemble it um, and I clean it inside and put in a drop of oil inside and also here so it can uh, turn again this one uh, makes this head go back and forth when, it, when it's reading and down here this one spins around and um, yeah, makes the makes the disc spin. <laughs> so so easy is that. So I'm um, I'm just repairing this these drives, and uh, to my big surprise, actually, I mean you can buy new drives for about thirty euros, but all these old drives they 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 can be repaired. Only thing that I uh, haven't been uh, haven't been able to restore or repair is. A drive like this, um, w when you put in a disc inside, uh, we can see here. We got this little uh, thingy over here that gets pressed down when we put in a disc, so the drive knows that a disc has been inserted and it and it loads. When these are dead, I really can't repair it because uh, don't know where to buy new parts. As you can see, I got four or five discs drives like this I got them like this so they were dead for many many years ago but uh, as you can see the the head is missing and the previous owner <laughs> has um, well we can't see it here but on let me see this one two second guys yeah this is the same as you can see on this one it's also missing so the drive don't know when a disc has been inserted but again a previous owner has just soldered these two points i mean uh, point two and three uh, that tells the drive if the disc is uh, right protected and point three and one that tells the drive that is that a disc has been inserted but that's not the way to go because if you do it like this and you turn on your Amiga then uh, it will start load uh, if you haven't inserted any disk or no nothing it will still start to load because it thinks there's a disk inside and it will attempt to read three or four times and then it will stop so if you put in a disk and you turn on your Amiga you can use this uh, this hack <laughs> but if you play a uh, two disc game and you have to insert disc two then this one won't work guys so uh, yeah that's the only thing I can't repair but other than that these old drives they're just they can't be saved so give it a try and uh, if you have any problems just write to me I will be uh, glad to help so this is just a short video I'm uh, repairing some drives I'm checking some discs. I mean, um, 
I love getting these old disc boxes because as you can see some discs uh, they're just you can see this one is uh, Indiana Jones and all that but um, and on the other side we got IBM discs as you can see OS2 and Zero plus part 5 and something something and uh, Norton and again IBM they're just uh, I love going the, 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 these uh, disc boxes through it's just it's so, it's so much fun for me so um, yeah I just want to say hello and uh, have a nice evening guys <laughs> bye